Hi everyone, uh, so now that we are done with our first pass, it's time for us to jump in continuity, you know, so we're going to jump to our second pass and you can start adding uh, everything in continuity so it's not as bitty as it was in the first pass, you know, and you, you're going to see a flow, you know, from one shot to the next, you know, so it's not something that it just cuts from one thing to uh, in a very abrupt, in a very abrupt way. It's it's a it's a very smooth transition from one shot to the next, you know, and we may you need to make sure um, we 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 keep in mind all the, the the rules and tools of storyboarding without the rules and tools one and two, you know, like we need to make sure we don't cross the 180 degree line, you know, and we can use our shots, long shot, you know, close up, medium shot, you know, so that's the time we can start adding, you know, to our first pass, you know. So let's begin with. Um, so I'm just driving really quick. You see, woo, car driving quick. Car uh, car parks. I run to to the building. You know, we we just turn on the laptop. We you know, HBO Go. You know, we just catch the last episode of the week. We're just very excited, very anxious, and we start watching it and start giggling because this is something awesome. Uh, um, yeah, we see Tyrion just is, is slapping uh, Jeffrey's head, his crown just flies, you know, and we just cheer, yay, you know, we were, you know, we're excited, you know, and Kate leaves, and, she, and you see that she's leaving, and then you hear, uh, you, you hear uh, Tyrion uh, Lannister, your sister will have to marry one of the Tyros, and you will have to create a Lannister out of Sansa. That's final. And then you see that I'm really focused, you know, my eyes are, you know, intense. There's, you see the intensity in my eyes, and, and then you start hearing, and you see the Kate's right there eating a, a pretzel, you know, making a lot of noise. And then I, I just want to be polite. I don't say anything, you know. I expect her to have a common sense and stop it, you know. But the noise keeps on going. After one is another one. And then I look, uh, try to pay attention. It's, it's been already five minutes that she's been eating it, you know. And it, you know, and I can't really focus. And I'm getting like really annoyed because I, I, w I won't understand what's going on, you know. But I can I cannot read the subtitles and they're all they're all all distorted because of the chewing you know and then and then I just I just tend to say please stop you know please please I'm trying to pay attention and then Kate's kind of a little offended you know but she tries to collaborate so she bites tiny bits you know. You see the noise keeps on going, it's tinier, but it's even more annoying. You see, crick, 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 crick. Then I just go, you see my crazy eyes, you know, and, and then I just, just shut up, just, can't you just shut up? I just completely lose it, you know. And Kate's kind of, you know, really offended now, and she's like, uh, chill out, dude, just chill out, you know. And then I just kind of... Uh, it's just so outrageous for me, you know. I just kind of like ah, I can't stand it, and I just push the computer and I, I just walk to to the room, you know, and I leave her alone in the couch. And you see that she's kind of sad, you know. And then I'm start of course reading Game of Thrones, you know, the book. I start hearing like some kind of cry, you know, and I go, I open the door, and I see that Kate is quietly crying, you know. And that really, really touches me, you know, really hits me. And um, I see that, she, you know, the, all this Kleenex all over, you know. And I touch her hand, her eyes all messed up with the makeup, you know. And I tell her how, what, a, what a jerk I am. And, I, and, and she asked if I still want to watch Game of Thrones. And I said, oh, that's okay. I have a better idea, you know. And then we cut to this giant bag of pretzels, you know, now we're both making that, that, that terrible noise and we're mouth full of pretzels, you know, we're, you know, just eating pretzels while we watch 
a silent film with Charlie Chaplin, you know. And that's the end. So, you know, you see that I added a few things here and there, you know, a few poses, you know. Like I didn't have this beginning here, like you see when you're driving the car. I added to add the tension of me wanting to go back home to watch Game of Thrones, you know. So I added a few shots here and there, like close-ups to add the tension, you know. Like because of my eyes, I added the close-up of her eating, you know. So there are a few things here and there, you know. And I want to show a demonstration of um, of of the uh, adding a little more pose, you know, because when I come from this shot here, I'm actually looking to the laptop, you know. And here is like a jump cut, so it's not right. I need to have a pose where I'm looking to the computer, you know. So we can do that. I can show you how I approach. So usually lower the opacity here, you see. And you add a new layer, and you can add a pose drawing of me. Be you know, you can start with the structure here, draw the glasses, and kind of like you know, they, they look like. I can't believe, you know, like, like really disturbed, you know. So, and then you can add the hair, you know. And feel free to use the brush you feel comfortable with. Everyone is different, you know. Everyone has a different type of brush. I usually lower the saturation, the opacity here in the flow, you know, to 50, 60 per, 60%, you know, because I, I really like the feel of it, you know. It feels like a pencil, you know. So, yeah, so now you have a nape pose, you know, of me staring to the computer right here, you know, before we jump into this pose here, you know. So, that was a necessary pose because you don't want to jump cut from a shot that I'm staring at the monitor and then you cut to me looking to Kate, you know. So, you needed that pose. A here, you see, you need the pose A. So now you have two A and B. So great. So now uh, I did a little tutorial. I show you, uh, show you how I approach posing. You know. So now we are ready to go to our third pass, and uh, I hope uh, you guys are enjoying the process. Thank you.